So here's what we're going to do. Here's the, here's the rule. I have two backpacks. I have this little guy. They're actually pretty cool backpacks. And this big boy, this is like the best backpack I've ever seen. Half custom branded. Uh, we're actually so dumb. Can you, uh, Ember, can you bring me stitched one? We ordered like, I think 40 backpacks and those backpacks uh, were the biggest losers. We did not test them. So you can see this is an imprint, really good imprint. But when you're dumb like me and you don't test stuff, that's what you get. <laughs> You can see there's a stitch, but it's missing G and S because they couldn't stitch it. They couldn't get to the pocket. It's so deep and there's so many things happening in this backpack. I mean, this is amazing. It goes to all our students, but you can see the stitch could not um, happen all the way. So anyway, so that's why we have to put uh, print on it, which is kind of dumb. But since I can't spell anyway, uh, it's, I'll, I'll keep that one without a few words, but this one is already done. We got them back finally. And, uh, you guys gonna, I'm gonna send two backpacks to most engaged person in this, uh, thread and also maybe interesting question or something. I don't know. Just ask me anything. Uh, but I wanna, uh, share who sent me cease and desist and it's not a shingle manufactured. Uh, but it was a comparison video that we did. We did it a couple months ago. So we, we only reviewed a couple companies, uh, compare back to back. So, um, I'm surprised you guys did not get it right. Uh, it was, I'll give you a last chance. Comment who do you think we reviewed and compared who Shane Lee? No, it was not Shane Lee. Um, I'm more engaged <laughs> than Jake. So comment what product or service we reviewed that sent us cease and desist letter. I want to hear from you. Yep. <laughs> Everyone guessing. Why would Ico send a cease and desist? You guys are unbelievable. Mad Sky. No, it's not a Mad Sky. Home Advisor. It's not Home Advisor. Um, Angels List. No. No OC. No gutter guards, nope. We engaged 16 years ago, been married. <laughs> uh, broom, what's the broom? Claim nerds, nope, not a claim nerds, guys. Come on. All right, you guys suck, I'm gonna get, tell you. I got cease and desist letter by a company called Green Sky Financing. So a couple months ago, we compared head to head Green Sky and Enhancify. And uh, we did research. I actually know Green Sky. Um, I've been in a few events with them. I know a lot of contractors who use this uh, Green Sky. So if you guys use Green Sky, please comment below as well. And um, you can go to YouTube after this. And I actually want to hear your feedback. I want your information because I want to be relevant. So we got cease and desist. And Green Sky pretty much saying that we are misleading. We use their logo. I mean, we compare them to, with a uh, Enhancify and uh, they claiming that numbers are not accurate and what numbers are. So some of the numbers were, uh, hold on one second. Hey, uh, well, I want this camera behind this camera. So I'm looking into the camera, it's not the side. So I want, um, so they're saying that, um, you don't have to be two years in business, you can be one year in business. And my understanding that today it is the case, but back in the day, it was not the case. I know for years, it always been two years. So I don't know when it changed, but I know when we are doing our reviews, we all, always call companies, we all, all, you know, I know we called Green Sky, we called Enhancify, and we use public information. We talk to you guys. And so they say that rates are not, um, uh, accurate they say like interest rates the homeowners are getting they say that credit score required are not uh, is not accurate uh, so Hassan you use green sky great um, if you guys use green sky I will uh, ask for your feedback maybe survey you and ask for some information about your clients but uh, it's a 
publicly traded companies. So we actually found their uh, quarterly reports. So we've seen, uh, you know, what they report back to the public, back to their uh, uh, investors and stuff. So it's not that hard to review publicly traded companies like Home Advisor or Green Sky. There's so much public information, but they come back to you and say, well, you can't, you miss present our logo. I mean, if you think about CNBC, CNBC talks about McDonald's, you know, car manufacturers. Like you can't review the brand without using their logo. So can I use logo of the brand to review? Absolutely. Roofing Insights is a media company and we, we can't review the product without using it. So we will be keep doing it. We um, pretty much, I replied to two emails today to Green Sky asking Green Sky, uh, for supporting documents. If, if I'm wrong, if uh, Green Sky in fact um, was right and at the time of my review my numbers were off, I'll go and remove the video and make new one. But they have to provide information because maybe today the numbers are different, but I know when I made the video it was accurate or they have to prove that it was not the case. So anyway, I'm gonna read some of your comments. What, what garbage about Hearth, PME, or Dmitry give a review? Will do, Jordan. Uh, we're actually talking to Hearth right now. Uh, spoke with him twice in the last couple of days. Hearth is garbage. Uh, great feedback. Um, I need to hear more of that. 76 comments, let me see. What camera do you film with? Uh, this is an um, iPhone 11 Pro. Uh, like big guy, like one of the bigger phones, uh, whatever, like plus. Green Sky is the most convenient, but the average merchant fee is 13%. See, they argue with that. They say that they're, uh, let me pull this email really quick from Green Sky, what they say. So they claim, give me one second. Here's what they say. According to Green Sky, they say Green Sky provides APR offers as low as 299% and the dealer fees are separate from the consumer APR. Green Sky has a one year in business requirement, not two years. I'm pretty sure at the time I did the video, it was two years, not one year. Green Sky also offers soft pools for credit. I was not aware of it when I made the video. Again, if they can prove it that soft pools were av available, I will review it. Uh, and then a whole bunch of legal stuff after that. Um, and they say minimum uh, FICO score is not 680 plus. Well, we looked at the third quarter report by uh, Green Sky and they were saying that 80% of people they finance actually had a credit score of, I think, 760. So, I mean, we do pretty good uh, job, uh, you know, investigating before we do any videos. Um, it was it was two years. Asking, how do you know it was two years? Uh, I know it was two years, uh, but how do you know? Did you sign up uh, at that time, or how did you do it? We used them for a bit, couldn't get any approvals. Plus, they fund via credit card, the credit card fees on top of dealer fees. Uh, it was so it averages sixteen percent per job. You're gonna find that every time you're honest, you are going to be threatened. Well, that's the thing, guys. That's what roofing insights is all about. As a matter of fact, uh, Green Sky have sent cease and desist letter to Enhancify because they posted their comparison on their website and I talked to Enhancify about it and they say they pull it down and the reason they pull it down is not because uh, it was not accurate, they just didn't want to fight companies that 40 times bigger than them. And <laughs> unfortunately for Green Sky, I don't care how big you are, I just, I genuinely don't, I don't care. Like, I, I mean, you can be, you know, I mean, unless it's government and I'm doing something that's written in the law that I shouldn't be doing. I mean, even that I probably will challenge that if, if I believe that I'm doing something right for the right cause. But overall, size of the company has nothing to do with uh, bullying and uh, with the public information about the company, especially when you're talking about a publicly traded company. So. I spoke to Green Sky last year and they wanted two years in business there. 
So that's the thing. Today, they might change. And I think Green Sky have changed it to one year. Why? Because companies like Green, uh, uh, Enhancify, companies like Mosaic, we have now uh, Get Hurt, all of those new players that came uh, to the roofing space within the last year, they pretty much require, like you can be brand new in business. You don't even have to be a couple months in business and they have to compete with them. So most likely they reduce it from two years to one year, but when did they reduce it? They have to produce a document saying, well, when you did re this review, it was already one year. I have not seen the document. So why would I take a video down? Because they demand it like today, right now, we have to do it. Good to know. In 2016, it was a year I signed up for previous employer. Now it's two years because I tried to sign up with my own company. So, uh, Mayela, uh, you saying that right now it's still two years? So I had to use service finance. Now it's two years because I tried to sign up with my own company. We use Chase Merchant is watching Chase Bank. So guys, if you have tried recently, or maybe you give them a call today or tomorrow Monday, let me know if it's one year or two year. I want to know. Those are, it's a big deal. So what these companies really want to do, they want to send you this cease and desist letter and think you're going to go away, walk away. And uh, this is not how we compete in this country. Uh, we compete on better products, better services. And if your product or service sucks, anybody can talk about it. <laughs> anybody you guys can talk about it and that applies my friends to shingles that applies to roofing companies that applies to everything like anybody can come and uh, review storm group roofing roofing insights you guys can review roofing insights i can't stop you this is your opinion as a matter of fact a lot of people did dimitri what financing company does storm group use we use service finance uh, we've been using them for years we've tried enhanceify we try to get hurt uh, especially in Florida, we tried because it was brand new uh, market for us. And I wanted to uh, try apps that I review. So we tried it. So I have my own opinion because for me, it's very hard to review something if I'm not a user. So we've been with the service finance, I want to say three, four years. We do a lot of approvals. Uh, one of the reasons we use service finance because we're part of Rodney Webb uh, training and he trained us really well how to sell financing in house. So we have our chart and I mean, it's just part of our process. Um, thank you for bringing force and transparency in our industry in all aspects. Uh, yeah. It's disgusting that they do these things. Uh, I lost my business for good. Stop engaging, bro. That backpack <laughs> I love it. Uh, we just got set up with service finance. Mo Mosaic is good uh, to how many jobs did you guys do with Mosaic and who is using Mosaic? That's another uh, we actually review Mosaic and we interview Mosaic during the IRE. Uh, I think the video is going to be published either Sunday or Tuesday next week. Uh, so you guys. Um, Dimitri, I will DM you a receipt with the green sky. OK. We really like service financing. Why didn't you go with Enhancify? Uh, Nate, what's your question? Why didn't you go? Enhancify is brand new. They only have been in business, I want to say six, eight months. So we already, like that's the same reason I would install Atlas or Ico, <laughs> well, a lot of other brands. Because when you're grandfathered in or something, it's much harder to sw sw switch a vendor when you have five sales guys have apps on their phones. It's it's hard to retrain people. So some of the stuff that we do at Storm Group, we don't do it because they're the best per se, or I mean, they're not bad. If they would be bad or we would have problems, we would drop them. I have no problem dropping any service, but I'm loyal to my vendors. I'm loyal to OC. I'm loyal to service finance. I'm loyal to, I mean, I was loyal to Eagle View uh, for years uh, up until uh, roof orders came in and start saving a lot of money so uh, for me to switch from one product to another it has to be something that I can really feel I have to feel the difference so if you know if supplier comes in and say well you can save X amount of dollars per each job for each report I'm not stupid you know I'm a volume player now when you do you know hundreds of jobs per year saving you know three dollars per square in shingle is gonna you know end up with a one thousand dollars in your pocket every week so it's four thousand a month why wouldn't it so we love all you do for us in the industry so thank you for oh, hold on let me read 
need this. Mm. Green Sky has higher approval rates, but service finance overall cost the contractor less money and their approval rates are, aren't that bad. Yeah, uh, service finance is pretty good company. We're happy with it. Uh, the truth is, almost with any finance company out there, you're going to get uh, customers who can't get a loan. And if service finance decline them, it's going to be much harder elsewhere. And I'm sorry, guys, I only have like five minutes left. So if you have questions, finish up. I just flew from uh, North Carolina today and I have to finish, have to make it to the gym. I haven't worked out a couple of days. But uh, what do you use instead of Eagle View? Rooforders.com. That's what we switched to. We still, I believe, will use uh, Eagle View every once in a while. But Rooforders.com, that's our go-to. Um, just $10, 15 20 cheaper than Eagle View. And it's pretty accurate. Um, Eric Green introduced me to them, and I'm happy he did. Can we record some content in Phoenix? Uh, I'm not going to be in Phoenix, guys. Sorry about that. Um, that one thing, and by the way, if you guys go into Phoenix, you cannot record anything in Phoenix. Uh, SVG is not allowed to bring videographers or film during uh, SVG. They send everybody who is influenced or known to know to make content, like me, Joseph Hughes, uh, John Dye. We can't really film, so I mean, I'm I'm not coming for different reasons. But what do you use instead of Eagle View? That is that another question? How would you go about hiring, finding roofing business coach? Um, Warren, I made a video about business coach. It's very easy for me. It's just, uh, I actually just watched a very cool um, video on YouTube about it. Before you hire a business coach, uh, in Russia, we have something we call it workbook. So workbook is back in the day in USSR time, it was very popular. When you apply for any position with any company, you have to bring your workbook. It's almost like, you know, your job history. So you bring it and, you know, they, you, all your jobs you ever took listed there. So uh, if I would hire a coach today, I don't care if it's YouTube coach. I don't care if it's accounting or video guy. It doesn't really matter. I would ask his history. So for example, if you hire somebody to do, let's say, you know, Facebook ads. What's your, what's your work history? Where did you work? What companies did you take, you know, to the next level? Like everybody makes promises, like we'll take it to the next level. Well, I wanna see it. Like I want, I wanna actually talk to your referrals. Who did you work before? So if it's a website guy, show me your best website. What company did you take from shitty website, build them really good website, and now they're killing it because they're on the first page of Google and stuff like that. So I always ask for workbooks. I all, uh, like for example, I just hire someone to do um, stuff for Roofing Insights to rank our blogs to be on the first page of Google because I, I'm really good at making YouTube videos on the first page of YouTube, but I'm not that good to make my articles on the first page of uh, Google. So I hire someone to write my articles, my research, my investigation. So maybe Green Sky versus Enhancify are gonna be my next investigation research. Uh, so for me to rank that on the first page of Google, I need a really good SEO person. So what did I do? <laughs> I went online and I found a person who ranks number one on Google for, he actually did an investigation uh, about Home Advisor. And that article is on the first page of Google right now. So I call him up. It's a SEO agency, happened to be in my town, called Hook Agency. So I called him, we met him last week, signed a contract, he agreed that he's gonna work on us on a monthly basis. And uh, that's how I hire people. I wanna see you work. I don't believe in promises anymore. You can call me, like for example, if I, if I tell you guys that I wanna coach you on YouTube, would you trust me? Probably because I know a few things about YouTube, but I'm not SEO guy. I'm I mean I can do Facebook, but I don't like it I'm not no longer relevant with the Facebook because I'm not engaged three years ago I was today. I'm not I, I pick my lane and I stick to my lane So when it comes to hiring coaches Look what they've done before and what they're doing now. Is it their full-time job part-time job? Or what do they do real question though? Why do companies keep trying to do this stuff to you? Ask them because uh, we are very, because we don't give a crap. 
we have no filters, that's why, because we're not politically correct. And uh, we're very different from a lot of other, you know, roofing channels there. Uh, you can, as a matter of fact, the reason a lot of you guys are watching us because we talk um, about stuff that matters. Uh, one of the reasons uh, I, my competition, people who are trying to get your attention and create YouTube channels and do interviews, there's a lot of guys who do it now. One of the reasons they don't trend or nobody's watching them because there's no real story, there's no real conflict. Uh, you know, I'm not going to watch interview if the entire interview is about you praising me and me praising you. What kind of interview is that? When I interview people, I want to ask freaking real question. I want to make you uncomfortable. I'm okay if you make me uncomfortable. I know you guys will watch it because it's real life. I'm okay being vulnerable and I don't turn my camera unless I have good piece of content. That's the secret. Not many people do it. But when you have real content, it will drive home and you will get attention and it, if it involves other people and they don't like what you say about them, they're going to sue it. So service finance for the last couple of years, have you used roofs.com? I did not use roofs.com yet, but I'm talking to them. When the school coming to the East Coast, uh, roofingclass.com, check out the schedule. I'll let you know there. Another thing guys about content too. You know, you know, I'm a big fan of Gary V. So what Gary V says, give, 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 ask. That's what I do every single week. You know, we publish three, four videos. We're not asking anything, just feeding, feeding, feeding for free. And then every once in a while, we are, you know, asking, come attend our class, subscribe here, maybe buy a t-shirt, support us one way or another, do the service, stuff like that. And in this industry, people are selfish. People who create content selfish. <laughs> I see guys right now, and it's not a stab at SVG. I love SVG community. There's a lot of good guys there. But for the last couple of weeks, I almost have to turn off notifications because every single video that comes out is not like, uh, vote for me. My, uh, uh, there's a few guys who produce content and I don't think they produce single tip in the last 30 days. They just produce, um, content every single video they post out vote for me I'm the most influential in the industry I'm the most influential in the industry vote here vote. I'm tired of it like what do I get if you send me 10, 10 videos like to vote for you what does it do to me like what kind of value it brings to me I mean I get it what you get but teach me something and when you teach people when you bring uh, good content and value you don't have to even ask for people to talk about you. People will nominate you, they will vote for you without you even ever asking them for them. That's what I believe in. I believe when you're actually making a difference, people will create nomination for you without you even knowing about it. And that's what we've seen in Hollywood. You see it, you know, a lot of people who hustle their whole life, uh, you know, all of a sudden people at the board, they, they create categories like, you know, most influence or for the hard work for, something what they did to the industry when you work hard people will notice it people are not gonna notice it just because you ask them 10 times to vote for you to like your page to I mean you have to ask for engagement but asking for engagement is different than asking for a praise that's my take so didn't use uh, that uh, reviewed hover yet we use them exclusively I like hover did not review them uh, planning to do it in the near future the problem with the hover they really didn't I mean it's all good services right but uh, everybody's asking me well can you review aerial management company well it's very hard because there's not many of them uh, honestly it's only eagle view and um, I would review maybe a roofer no uh, rooforders.com and eagle view because those are competitors all your eye roofing and roof scope you can compare them to eagle view because in those you have to do it yourself it may be cheaper but you have to compare apples to apples. And Eagle View did not have competition until recently. Now they start having competition. And eye roofing was not competing with, uh, let's say, Eagle View. So everybody wants to see this uh, comparison and reviews, but you can't really compare uh, oranges to apples. Why do you use for credit card process? Who do you use uh, service finance? I already said. When making Facebook and YouTube videos, do you make them around your niche only or all the services you offer? Um, pick your niche. I answer. I will answer how Gary V would answer it. So narrow down your niche and wide, widen your distribution. So what really matters is become expert in one thing. So if I would be 
running roofing company with a special niche let's say it's a metal roof or there is one guy who's killing it on youtube i'm actually going to talk to him next week on youtube i'm going to review his channel his specialty is a trailer roofs trailer roofs think about it like shitty small like i'm talking about roofs that none of you suckers want you guys don't want those roofs he's killing it he's somewhere in uh, south or north carolina he re-roofs the shittiest trailers in the trailer parks that's his youtube channel his youtube channel um, i think he has like thirteen thousand subs and he has a lot of comments like some of his videos like recently published like six months ago would have like quarter million views with hundreds and hundreds of comments everybody knows who he is he is helping people who lives in poverty in trailers he helps them that's his niche and all his videos about it think about it so my answer to you nate is pick up the niche it could be metal roofing it can be rubber roofing it could be roof repairs uh i mean if you do insurance claims it can be channel about like overhead and profit channel with the uh, michael uh what's his name whatever like he created a channel just with working with insurance companies when you have small niche you will dominate that niche and you're going to become an expert but you have to widen your distribution so everybody knows you're actually producing um, a lot of content i love it man thank you for the great advice no, no, no. you're late <laughs> get out of here did you feel the last part for your school uh, i did not feel the last spot for you for my school somebody wanted it but they did not sign up for the full deal. They signed up only for entrance deal. So the spot, we still have one full uh, school place. And if you guys want it, it's me doing your QuickBooks. Not doing it, but managing and uh, being admin of your QuickBooks and stuff like that. Your YouTube channel and your CRM and stuff. Went to SVG last year. We were hustled by people trying to sell us stuff a month afterwards. Yep, can relate. That's one of the reasons I'm not going. Awesome point. Hey, Samantha people uh will people like my facebook page if i produce good content or should i just invite everybody you should invite them but at the same time the content should be good like it, it's both you have to keep producing good content content is a king <sighs> guys don't make me miss my crossfit i, I have like five minutes i keep saying uh, i'm gonna walk out the door in a minute um doing a trailer roof tomorrow though trailers are good that's a good niche what his sales uh, I don't know what he sells, but it doesn't really matter. Like he, you dumb, he's a good guy. He, here's the thing. Everybody needs to find his happiness. This guy found his happiness doing uh, the trailers. And again, I will review his channel. You probably have seen it. If you go to YouTube, you can't miss it, but um, you'll see it. Have you thought about being a reseller of a roofing product? Not a shingle or brand or underlaying, but, but roof accessories. Bird cap is what might be. <laughs> Is the roof accessor but i think it's, it is unique i mean not me but i i don't know it's uh it's a it's a different topic long time no <laughs> justin long time no see that's right hope you're doing good buddy what crm are you using for storm group we're using job nimbus at storm group uh i like how you guys answering what i use at storm group <laughs> everybody knows what i use underlayman them i can't type um without mentioning names do we need to be concerned about ma specific manufacturers positives and downfalls in our videos marketing can you give tips to avoid trouble um i would say this if you want to review product especially issues with the product just go freaking review it uh, before you do it though read your fine print in the agreement if you're a certified installer for that product i don't care if it's oc gf um did i just say it or I go just read the fine print when you can and can't say you will be surprised how much stuff is in that agreement when I read my first agreement I couldn't believe it not only I could not talk about that product I could not talk about their competition it literally stated in the agreement uh, with a certain brand that I cannot review their competition how is it possible when you go in, fr in front of the homeowner and you bring them two samples you are technically always making one look better than other. I mean, that's what we do. But in their agreement, sometimes it says you can't compare, it might be disparaging, and uh, you can't make any claims. So for example, if you're a C guy, you can't say you know, something negative that it's better. Like you, by you saying that it's better than others, I mean, it's crazy. I mean, I want you to think about this. When, um, when I got in trouble a couple of years ago, what was happening, they were demanding 
uh, some crazy stuff. One of the things uh, was uh, particularly bad. I published on my Facebook page simple link to class action lawsuit of that brand. And I just made a quick um, comment saying, hey, if you're the homeowner, live in Minneapolis, and you have, e and you have this product installed, you might be eligible uh, for you know, payout based on this uh, class action. So they already lost a class action. They were paying out. And as a matter of fact, a lot of brands have open class actions right now. You guys can go research it. Um, well, one of the brands, you can look it up. I'm not going to tell you who it is. Have a class action uh, and they're paying it out until like 22. Like so for the next two, three years, they're still paying it out. But I was not able to even put that link on my Facebook because, on my business page book, Facebook, because it would disparage that brand. I mean, think about it. They lost in court, their product failed. So it's not like Dimitri saying your product sucks. It's judge says, hey, your product sucks and you're gonna pay those homeowners who are affected. Now, I'm a roofer going to public, you know, Facebook, social media and saying, hey guys, if you're affected by this class action, here's the link, follow it, um, see if you qualify. And they say, nope, that's disparaging. That's how crazy those agreements are. Without mentioning names, okay. Um, one more question and we're out of here. Send me cease and desist letter to join. Malarkey, Google has been essential to our company as a CRM. Okay. Uh, gotta run, happy Valentine's Day. Hmm, wonder what brand that was. All right, guys. <sighs> I'm gonna let my assistant here, Val, come here. This is Val. Uh, come here. Oh, yeah, yeah. This guy right here. Hello, everyone. So he's going to make a decision. He's going to go through all the comments, and he's going to pick two winners today, and he's going to send these two backpacks. They're going to go out probably Monday. So if you didn't get it, it's because of him. <laughs> all right, guys. I got to run. See you soon.